Well, hello, Robert Heffernan with Endotech. Uh, and this is uh, Market Vitals. It's our show talking markets. You know, we did this for uh, several months going on, uh, probably 16, 18 months, uh, just in the blockchain space. Uh, but Market Vitals is something I've been doing for, I don't know, 20 plus years or so. Uh, coming to trading from a technical frame of mind, uh, because I think uh, you can forget the whispers and trade the technicals and be a much more solvent and successful trader uh, when you do that. Uh, I will tell you that it is my experience that markets can stay disjointed from the fundamentals a lot longer than you can stay solvent. And uh, you better pay attention to the technicals or... Uh, you will be in a position, marry it, and uh, the divorce proceedings in a position that you marry are very ugly. You don't want to be in that position. You want to you want to be disciplined and trade technically. And on that front, uh, we are going to talk a little bit here instead of going and doing the rounds because uh, the market's been quiet. Uh, before we get to the vitals, I just want to talk about something that I've been noticing on the Twitter sphere uh, and. Several comments of people saying, I know I shouldn't be trading uh, X, blah, blah, blah. Or uh, especially you know, so many people are trading these spoos. Uh, and even the cryptos now, uh, we've had this big rally here and now trading sideways. And not a lot of uh, sh shorter time frame momentum going on in this market. Anyway, when I hear that comment and I've had it myself, I know I shouldn't be trading but I'm bored, but I need to try to make some money. When you know you shouldn't be trading, you shouldn't be trading, right? You should be on the golf course or, you know, back in the day in the, on the floor, it was real easy when you knew you shouldn't be trading. You went into the break room and played cards, right? Or you went to uh, Big Herms and had an eggy, or you went down to the Limit Up Tavern and started drinking. When you know you shouldn't be trading, if you're a disciplined trader, don't trade, all right? You, you need to wait for your trade setups that you've been successful with. And so many times traders make a mistake of when they're bored or when the market doesn't have the trade setup that they like, they start inventing different trading methodologies and it just leads to a disaster. That's all I'm telling you. Please don't be that trader, all right? Be the disciplined trader that waits for the trade setup, right? The, the river will flow again. And when your trade setup shows up, you'll be able to participate and you won't be frustrated and down money because you started trading, you know, when you knew you shouldn't have. All right. And let's take the vitals and just talk about that. Taking the vitals, my chance to talk about actual, actual trading information. And right now uh, we're covering the spoos here. Uh, the, and you can, I love the, the micro, by the way, the micro, the mini, lots of ways for different uh, asset bases to interact in this market a lot more flexible now with the micro uh, but anyways trading 2860 and fully in you know inside of last week's range not a lot of momentum one way or the other they're just chopping around here you see the average at 2864 uh, both momentum numbers I talked about this two days ago they were able to take out that lower momentum level but they couldn't close in that momentum level they've run them up they haven't been anywhere near the uh the up momentum level on the daily, which is 2894. So we're just sitting here stuck in the range, stuck in the middle here, and uh, just n nothing from a momentum standpoint to be involved with. So when, you're ha when, when you know you should have your hands in your pockets, put your hands in your pockets. You know, and, and the trading floor, you used to do that because you'd have to put your trading cards away, right? You'd have your trading cards, and you're like, I shouldn't be trading right now. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put my cards in my pocket and put my hands in my pocket. Well, you can do the same thing if you're in front of a screen. Uh, just put the mouse down and put your hands in your pocket or go to the golf course or, you know, uh, do something. Um, play online poker, play online chess, anything than trade when you're not supposed to be trading, all right? And until this market finds momentum one way or the other on uh, the daily, and by the way, let's talk the weekly here in the spoos. Those momentum levels are 2807 uh, to the downside and 2909 to the upside. So fully a 100-point uh, range between 
the momentum levels on the weekly. And we're smack dab in the middle of them on the daily. Listen, uh, if you want to be chopped up, keep trading this market in, in this range, all right? If you don't want to be chopped up, maybe you do something else until the market finds some sort of direction from here. All right, that's what I'm seeing in the spoos. Uh, and uh, I will be out of town and unable to do this segment uh, until next Tuesday. I will try to check in uh, and do a, a live stream here or there via technology and my smartphone. But uh, please stay disciplined and wait for the momentum levels, all right? Let's, uh, let's look at uh, Bitcoin here and talk cryptos. Uh, Bitcoin right now, you know, and, I, and I, 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 I've lied here. I, I must come clean uh, because we have not maintained that uh, up momentum level. Right now trading 79.89 at Bitfinex and it's jumping around 79.81. Up momentum, 80.56. Now we closed out of up momentum, but there's just been no... There wasn't any follow through right away. The shorter time frames are are condensed and collapsing. So for me, you know, I, I I said I was going to get out if we closed below up momentum. But since the market wasn't acting like it, it was going to flush, you know, you, you have to have some times you need to have have some objectivity to the technicals. And I got to tell you, that's a double-edged sword because sometimes objectivity to the technicals causes you great pain, and sometimes it doesn't. So for me, uh, Bitcoin's still here. It's it's dancing in its value range. The value range is uh, 78.14 to 79.50. Um, actually, now it's and now it's above that value range high. Uh, high. So looking a little healthier. It's above the pivot. We need to regain up mo on the daily for me to really be in love with it. Um, and if we do that, I, we got a lot of room to the upside still here. Uh, and also, by the way, to the downside on the weekly, right? So the weekly, the up momentum level is all the way down at 67.26. We've talked about that level. Upside, room to 95.12. And I'm still looking at that monthly collar at 10,338 in Bitcoin. Um, so that's what I'm seeing. Uh, please, uh, if you are not a subscriber at Endotech, please go to endotech.io and subscribe uh, for all of the actionable trading intelligence on the platform. All right, uh, and listen, uh, please have a happy and safe Memorial Day weekend. If you are in the U.S. of A., thank you so much to uh, our service men and women who uh, have provided us security for so long. So many of them have uh, just given all, uh, sometimes literally all, and uh, that is what Memorial Day is all about, to, to pay homage and to thank servicemen and women. So thank you so much. Have a safe and wonderful Memorial Day weekend. And I'll be back next week with some live segments. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Be disciplined, trade this. Whoa, whoa. I went sideways here. HFR from the floor. Uh, please follow us on Twitter at endotech under slash IO and at HFR from the floor. And I will see you next week. Have a please, have a safe uh, and enjoyable holiday weekend. Get out there and enjoy the fruits of your labor, please. The fruits of your trading should be enjoyed. And uh, that's what I plan to do. So I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching.